guys, I'm gonna walk you through this code and I'm gonna run it first, which basically turns the Gemini Cup demo into a demo using GPT-4V. And there's two steps involved. Once you have your video uploaded here, you have to convert the video into a sequence of images. And to do that, we use this script, split video into images. And this uses FFmpeg to convert each second of video into four images. So that's what this script does here. So this is the first script you're gonna run. And you're gonna have a bunch of images in here. And then after you get those images, you're gonna run index.js, which is what we just ran. And what this does is it takes each image, converts it into base64, and then it sends all the base64 convert images to OpenAI GPT-4 in one API call. So we're setting the max tokens to 4096. And because it has so many images, I believe about 60, it's gonna take a long time to run, about like two minutes. So I'll fast forward till that's done and we can take a look at the. Okay, let's review what it gave us. So this is what it said. To determine which can has the coin underneath it at the end of the shuffle process, let's track the movement step by step to this series of provided images. In the first move, the leftmost can initially with the coin underneath it is moved to the center and the center can is moved to the left. That's right. Second step is the second move involves switching the position to the center can, which now has the coin underneath it with the rightmost can. Now the rightmost can has the coin underneath it. That's correct. And then this last step, the third and final move switches the leftmost can with the center can. Since the coin was underneath the rightmost can after the second move, this final move does not affect the position of the coin. Therefore, after the three moves, the can with the coin underneath it is the rightmost can. Okay, so this is exactly right. Now I have to be transparent with you. This hallucinates like crazy and it makes a bunch of wrong answers. But for this run, this is exactly right. There's probably a lot of improvements that can be made with prompt engineering and reducing the total number of images. In this example, we have 60 images, so it takes forever. Overall, I, this is definitely not reliable enough for like production use cases, but it is interesting that this is exactly correct. Like this, these are all the steps that were taken. So if I run this again, I'm not sure if I'll get the right answer to be honest with you. So that's a huge issue, like the reliability, but it is interesting that it can produce the right answer. Still trying to figure out how to get more consistent results like time and time again if you run it again and again. So I'll post the code. You can take a look at that. Feel free to edit it and change it around and let me know what you get. I'm super curious. So yeah, thanks so much. Bye.